Hey, it's Kevin Yates of YatesPerformanceTraining.com and I'm back today with a video um, to talk to you about some things you can do to effectively get rid of nagging, low back pain, um, tightness, you know, just problems with that, that low back that even though you've tried everything in the world and you can't seem to get rid of it, it just keeps coming back after you work out or after you go run, um, whether you're going out play a golf or whatever you're doing and and you can't get rid of that back pain and that's what I'm going to try and help you do today okay so a big thing that um, I want you to understand is one of the most common things that I see um, in people with low back pain is this this muscular imbalance and when I'm talking about a muscular imbalance what I mean is that there are certain muscles that are weak and as a result of the weakness your, your spine can't properly um, stabilize itself and then what happens is that other muscles start to overcompensate for the weak ones they start working harder and then what happens is your body starts to get imbalanced because these these overcompensators are kind of working all the time and the weak guys are just getting weaker right so it just throws your whole body out of balance and then what it does is it starts to to create um, uh, improper stress to your your spine and then you get pain or you know the pain could be tightness right and then you're, you're just always having to stretch you can relieve it maybe uh, you know temporarily for the day or you know for the night and then you know the next time you go out and do whatever you do it, it comes back again right but you never really have um, a long-term kind of um, relief from it it's just always kind of keeps coming back right so the biggest imbalance that I see and you've probably heard this you probably heard that you should strengthen your abdominal muscles and you know I want to talk a little bit to you about this because on one side of the coin I'm gonna say yes this is true but on the other side of the coin um, how most people go about it is completely completely wrong and there's even some exercises that are recommended that I I completely disagree with and not only are they ineffective but they can make your low back pain worse and a lot of times these are exercises that are recommended to do to help your low back out right so what I want you to understand is the imbalance when, when we talk about strengthening the abdominals okay there's two imbalances abdominal weakness and hip weakness but I'm gonna talk about the abs for a while the abdominal weakness when when most people go to train their abs um, you know th if this describes you then, then you're gonna nod your head and go yeah okay I get it but the most the way most people train abs is by doing certain type of crunches right so it's always just kind of little crunches and back pain you know sufferers are taught to do this uh, because it helps you know contract the abdominals make them stronger and, and it lengthens out the the tight muscles in the low back right so you know in your head it makes sense to think along those lines but if we think a little take it a, a little bit further and start to think about how you move around on a daily basis Okay, how many movements do you do in a, in a day, in your typical work day, that require you to do like this, right? Because, I mean, think about it. Isn't that the opposite of what we're always, like, what we're taught to do when we're, when we're young? We're, we're taught to sit up straight, you know, have good posture, right? If you're sitting at a desk at a job all day, you know, you're, 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 you know, you're always told you, you should be upright because that's, that's how you stay away from injury. That's how your body's meant to be. But if that's the case, then why are we being told to do movements like crunches where we're being taught to flex and bend and round out our back? Because over time, all that does is it trains you to end up like this. And every time you try and stabilize your body, if you lift something heavy or uh, if, if you, you know, ways that you start moving, that's what's going to start happening. You're, you're going to start to move with yourself like that. You're going to start to lift things like that. And you know, when you start lifting things like that, that's a, a bad back accident. That's a big injury waiting to happen right there. Okay, so what if, if crunches are kind of out of it, right? We definitely don't want to do crunches. We don't want to do sit-ups, all right? Because sit-ups is the same thing. You're, you're just reinforcing flexion, and you're making it even worse because most people engage their, their hip flexors, right? So I don't know if the camera's got me on the hip flexor, but hip flexor, think about if you're wearing pants where your front pockets are, right? you're kind of there and they go up through kind of like up through your your stomach in a way and they attach to, to every vertebrae on your low back on each side okay now you think about that for a minute because if those hip flexors if you're engaging them like in a sit-up all the time because they what they do is they they work to pull your like your knee up towards your chest right but if 
most people, what do they do? When, when you do a sit-up, you, you hook your feet under something. So when you can't pull your knee to your chest, you pull from the attachment at your back and it pulls at the back. That's why a lot of people who do sit-ups end up with back pain and potentially with hip pain too because they're overusing those hip flexors. So what we need to do is, is kind of put those exercises away and think of more uh, movements that are gonna train your body to be strong and stable and perform its best, not like this, but in positions you're meant to be, like this, up nice and tall, all right? Whether you're a runner, I mean, if you go running, you don't wanna be running like, like that. I mean, you'll, you'll kill your low back and your neck, right? You won't, you won't make it. You wanna be nice and efficient, up and tall. If you're a golfer, you don't wanna swing a, a, a golf club with a, a rounded back, right? You wanna have nice, good posture, right? That goes for working out, lifting, you know, you name it. So movements that do that, and I've listed five of them here on this blog. So um, some really good effective training movements that, that are gonna really work your, your abs like you've never felt them before. It's way, way different than you'll ever feel on a crunch or a sit up or one of those, um, any of those ab machines that you see around the gym or on the TV commercials, all right? So definitely give these exercises a try on here. And also, I'd love to hear your feedback on these exercises. Let me know if they worked for you. Let me know if they didn't work for you. Let me know what uh, you thought of them and, and if they helped you out, how they helped you out. And post your, your feedback in the comment. Um, you can leave a comment below right on here. Just post your feedback on there. And um, also let me know of anything else that you would like me to share on a video or in an article that I post. Um, you know, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your feedback. All right. So um, hopefully this gives you some idea of, of now the direction you should go to fix low back pain. And I'm telling you, when you start training movements like, like the ones I have listed on here, you're going to be feeling better really, really quickly. So make sure you read them really thoroughly. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to and got my, my free report here, um, do me a favor and enter your information in the box. And where it'll take you is to a report that I put up. It's five things, five easy steps to get rid of pain. If it's low back pain, if it's knee pain, if it's uh, shoulder pain, um, I have some good um, kind of tips and, and techniques and methods in there that really you should check out. So you just enter your information in the box there, I'll take you right to it, and um, it'll give you a free subscription to my online newsletter. So you'll receive periodic um, emails, you know, I'll, I'll either do videos or um, write some emails about certain topics that, that hopefully will help you out and, and um, get you back and, and active in doing what you love to do without you know restrictions or limitations. So um, go ahead and opt in for that and uh, let me know your feedback and I'll see you next time.